Welcome to SW Box. I'm Neil, and today I am going to change the Wi Fi cable on an iPad 2. Basically, I made a video a little while ago on how to change your LCD and your digitizer, okay? And doing it nine times out of ten, people cut their Wi Fi cable. It's very difficult to protect it while you're undoing the iPad. So, many people have asked me, How do I change it? You know, is it easy? It is quite easy, so I'm going to show you the steps. Uh, this is your Wi Fi cable. It goes on to the motherboard, but it connects underneath, which is a bit of an issue. Don't worry, you don't need to take the motherboard out. There's no need for any of that. We're going to take this plate off here, and then we'll be able to get to this cable. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the four screws that hold the Wi-Fi cable in. So this one. These are really small things, as usual. Nine times out of ten, you've already broken it off of here anyway, but you still need to screw the new one down. So just get it into place. It's free. This is your last one. Okay. Once all four screws are removed, then the cable should come along, come off quite nicely. So it's free up to the motherboard point. Now. Basically, I'm going to remove this sticker here, move it out of the way. To get this plate off, just use like a little prying tool and just gently lift it up. Okay, there you go, and that will spring straight off. Once you've removed that, you've got to take out this. This is your um, Bluetooth signal. I'm just going to pop that up, and your Wi Fi cable is connected to it. It's difficult to show you. Let's try and show you. See that connection there? That is how your Wi Fi connects. We're just going to pop it off. Okay, there we go. Slide it out. Get a new one. Pass it back through, just use some tweezers to get hold of it. Put that there. Turn it up the right way. Obviously, you can't see much because my hands are in the way, as usual. It's clicked on. I'm just going to push it back down now. Make sure you connect the plate back on. That's that side done. Now we can put the metal tray back uh, cover back on. There we go. Put your sticker back over. Now all you've got to do is bolt it all back down. So, let's start screwdriver. These are Phillips, by the way, if anyone wants to know. These screws are absolutely tiny.
Now, basically, you just peel this sticker off, okay, and then put it all back together. Obviously, your LCD goes in, and your digitizer, exactly the same as the other video, and then your Wi-Fi will work fine. Literally, um, that is all there is to it. Just remember, take your time. Remember, just be careful when you're prying it off. Uh, this little plate here. Don't try not to damage your motherboard because you will end up with problems. But other than that, it's the easiest way to change your Wi-Fi cable without taking the motherboard out, which is quite a mission. So don't bother doing that. Take this cover plate off. Okay. So like I said, uh, I didn't bother t showing you how to take the LCD and digitizer off. We've already done a video to do that. I just purely wanted to show you guys a quick and easy way to change your Wi-Fi signal cable if you do cut through it, which is Liable, to be honest, it's very difficult to not cut through it. Um, obviously, <clears throat> just take your time. Don't be afraid to do it. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will help you guys. If you're interested in these sort of products, you need to come to SW Box. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye bye.